But earn a point today, if not win the game with the chances. Yeah, we had a few half chances towards the end. You know, we gave it a bit of a go, probably a little bit too late. Uh, you know, when we're here at playing more and we, we give a, the opposition a goal early on, then uh, obviously they're, they're all professional enough that they know how to slow the game down and, and uh, it's, not, uh, it's not a flowing game at that point. But, um, and, and you have to make things happen yourself and quicken it up. Um, and I didn't feel we quite had a, our game wasn't quick enough t today. Um, and they started well, they got their goal, and that gave them the, uh, the confidence to keep the ball a little bit. You know, it's, uh, I think my lads lost a little bit of confidence because of the goal they shouldn't have done. Um, but uh, and it was only late on that we started, you know, really pushing numbers forward, which we need to do if you're going to win football matches. What are you most disappointed with today? I'm probably most disappointed in um, we didn't create enough chances like we normally do. I say normally, I mean we've had a bit of a uh, lull in, in our performances but also in our final third play. Um, uh, we, as you say, we created a, a couple of half chances towards the end. So it's not getting enough shots. You know, We used to have 20 odd shots, I say used to, you know, a few weeks ago uh, before this little spell. We used to have, we was having 20 odd shots and three or four goals, you know, it was going quite well. But, um, you know, we're just going through a little bit of a poor patch at the moment and we've got to drag them out of it if we can. How aware are you of the fact that obviously Hartlepool are now going to draw level as far as the league table is concerned? Sutton play after have a chance to go above you. Yeah. How does that affect you and the team? Oh, it might, it might just um, make everybody pick up a little bit. You can't be complacent when it's this close at the moment. Uh, maybe they've got a little bit complacent, I'm not sure, but it's, it's really down to the quality and, and how much quality you show under pressure. And uh, if you're top of the league, you are under pressure, same as if you're fighting relegation. Um, and we've been up there a long time, so maybe we'll give somebody else a, a go up for a little while up there and we can be the challengers in, instead of the champion. But uh, I don't know where we are today, I haven't seen the results, but um, you know, at the moment we just need to uh, knuckle down and keep going and uh, see where it takes us. There's not many games that have been called off for COVID reasons um, lately, certainly. Um, Tuesday night, you would do it play all the yeah. shot. It does give other teams not just the chance to go above you today, but also to consolidate that because you're not obviously going to play until yeah. Saturday now. No, that's right. I mean, we're not too bothered about that, to be honest with you, because we've got quite a few uh, regular first-team players that are, that are out. So that gives them another game later on in the season when they're, when they're all fit. Um, and you know you you, you you just hope that uh, by the time the, the, the games come thick and fast at the end the last ten or so games that you're up there with your best team and uh, and that's what you need to. Do. Are you relying on getting these players back and having a surge when you've got your full you know your, your yeah yeah first yeah it doesn't back. always work like that of course you know you, you cannot, you don't always make your team better on occasions but it gives you a bigger squad to choose from. And, uh, and that creates a little bit more competition. And also, you're playing with a few lads that uh, need the match practice. You know, people like Armani, like Scotty Bowden, um, and they're not quite ready yet or sharp as they would be normally. You know, so you're having to give those games, give them games to them for, uh, for fitness wise. You said you saw the confidence drain out of them uh, when you conceded early on. Uh, where's the confidence going to come back from? Him? Well, it, we, we lost the, we lost our sharpness, yeah, maybe rather than confidence. But uh, people get, you know, when it's one nil, you start you know, trying to do things anxiously as opposed to assured. And I thought that was the difference with the two teams. Um, over the game that we were a little bit frantic and they were a little bit more assured and uh, that comes from being one nil up of course and we're the ones that had to try and score the goal to get the equaliser so it was only in the last 10-15 minutes that we actually started with the will to win the game as opposed to um, you know, just knock it around, stay in it and with a little panic on us.